thought for the day, brothers and sisters, on this early, cold, dark morning here. Um, I have to go to work very early today. The schools are closed um, because of this uh, coronavirus. And, uh, you know, as a work as a custodian, we have to do some deep cleaning in the building. Um, but today I wanted to speak about the darkness that's around our world today. I guess in regards a little bit with what's going on with this coronavirus. And, and I was reading this morning in Amos chapter 9, verses 1 to 5, basically, where God was touching the earth and it was melting because of his judgment that was coming upon the people. And I was thinking about this virus and how the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7, Amos chapter 3, verse 6, scripture verses like this, that God brings these things to pass. <clears throat> Coronavirus or anything else does not happen by chance. God is in control. Now for the Christian and those that are in Christ, all things work out for our good, we are told in Romans chapter 8, verse 28. I believe that God allows things to come in our lives, whether directly or indirectly, to test our faith. In James chapter 1, verses 2 and 4, we are told that trials come our way in life sometimes to test our faith. Sadly, a lot of people today, Christians and you know, especially non-Christians, when things like this happen in the world, they run to the pharmacy. Uh, they, I was told by a teacher in my school recently, she's had a bad cough. There's no codeine no more in the pharmacies. They've run out because people are hysterical. I was talking to another teacher yesterday at my school where she told me that at a local Costco, two people were fist fighting over a roll of toilet paper. The hysteria that's going on in our culture today is unbelievable because we're not trusting in God. I'm not undermining the problem. This is a serious issue. But the thing is, is that people are going crazy because they're not trusting in the Lord. 37 people so far in America have died from this virus since it's been found about roughly two months ago. But think of this. More people die in one day or a few hours from suicide, from drug overdose, from drinking and driving than this virus will ever kill. My friends, we need to put things in perspective and realize that God is working everything out. He's in control. When we trust in the Lord, we will have a peace that this world cannot give us. We are told in Isaiah chapter 26 that God will give us a perfect peace that the world cannot give us. He will keep us in perfect peace. Isaiah 26 verses 3 and 4 tells us that when our minds are stayed steadfast upon him, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, told us in the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 27, that he came to give us peace, a peace that this world cannot give. The peace that people are running to cannot be found at the bottom of a bottle. That is just a band-aid over a tumor. It's not getting to the root of what our problem is. The Bible tells us in Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 23, to guard our hearts, guard our minds, because from it well the springs of life the wellness of life my friends today can i encourage us all in the midst of everything that's going on in our society today and in the world that god is in control put your trust in him jesus christ our dear lord and savior told us in the gospel of luke chapter 21 verse 11 that in the last days there will be pestilence there'll be famines there'll be plagues these things god knows was going to happen but he's protecting us. He's watching over us. And even if we do get sick, even if something does come to us, let us remember that God is always with us. He will never leave us nor forsake us because he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hebrews chapter 13, verses 5 and 8 tells us that. Again, as I tell you, my friends, I have to go to my job really early in the morning. It's still dark out. It's raining. It's dark um, because we have to go do a deep cleaning in the school and um, kids are out because of this coronavirus. I'm not undermining the problem, but what I'm trying to tell you is that the God that we serve is in control of everything. You look at the life of Job. Job went through so much in his life and he questioned God, but then God came to him, showed him who he really was, the creator of this world. And when Job finally came to his senses and he repented and he turned back to the Lord, God gave him more than he had from before he was sick. God took care of Job. God's going to take care of us. That doesn't mean that there's not going to be pain and suffering in this world. In this life, we will have many trials and tribulations. 
Psalm 34, 19 tells us that. But God will deliver us from them all. What concerns me is the hysteria, the paranoia. People are closing down businesses. People are clo I, I've heard sports um, leagues are closing their, their, um, uh, their seasons. They're postponing their seasons. Uh, I read recently where ShopRite might be closing down. Gyms, the gymnasium where I go to is closing down for a little while. I mean, it, it is becoming a, a time where people are not trusting in the Lord. They don't have peace in their hearts and minds. And this is what happens. Anxiety kicks in. We are to cast our cares on the Lord. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7 tells us that because God cares for us. Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7 tells us, Be anxious for nothing, but with all prayers and requests, with thanksgiving in your heart, let your requests be, be known to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. My friends today, may the peace of Christ be with us all. God bless you all this day. To all my dear brothers and sisters in Christ who see this devotional video on Facebook, thank you for sharing it with your Christian pages and groups and friends. To all who will see this on YouTube as God leads you, you see a subscribe button, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube page. I hope some of the scripture verses that I gave today will help us all to truly put our trust in the Lord from the heart with our minds in these difficult days that we're living in. While the world is going crazy and hysterical over certain things that are going on in the world, may we keep our faith in the rock, which is Jesus Christ. You know, there's two, times, there's two types of people in the world. People that build their lives on shifting sand and people who build their lives on a rock. When the waves and the oceans come crashing on your life, if you build your life on the things of this world, it's going to crumble. But if you put your life in Christ, you trust in Him, you will stand in the day of adversity and be stronger for it because of your faith in Christ. Take care this day. God bless you all.